Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying my uh, latest blog entry. I wanted to do a short video to give you a little bit more detail on what I'm doing with this uh, Nostromo diorama. What you see here is the uh, panel that I've completed um, to the uh, Nostromo galley. Um, there's going to be many more panels created for this galley, but uh, just to give you an idea, this is a hand sculpted piece uh, using, sty uh, using styrene and uh, Abe's Fix-It Sculpt. Um, the white pieces that you see here are um, casted pieces that were previously sculpted uh, and then molds made out of uh, so I don't have to do it over and over again so I just made uh, casts and uh, placed them in and then uh, had all the other measurements made out and just sculpt the pattern onto the uh, piece of styrene and it's a very dimensional uh, piece um, and very heavy too, by the way. The fix it can get pretty heavy when you add a lot, and this is a lot of fix it here. Um, this piece is a two sided piece because I had to do this inset that I forgot about going along the inside of the doorway, which leads to the opposite side right here. This is the other part of the uh, doorway that leads into the corridor that will jet out. And you can't see the lines, but there's a line here and there's a line here. There's going to be some sculpting elements here and here, but the the corridor itself will just lock into place. I'm going to put some magnets maybe on these four corners, and the corridor piece will just magnetize onto it, sealing it and making it a long corridor leading away from this doorway. So uh, that's my plans for this side. Let me turn this back over again. Um, I'll be making a uh, two-sided mold for this, and when I make a cast, uh, the castings will vary um, with modifications being made because not all the all the panels to the galley wall panels look exactly the same this one I think is the main centerpiece whereas another one doesn't even have this side to it this it will be looking more like this or both sides will be just small narrow designs probably that jet out about like this so no no two sides of the wall are exactly the same they all have a fluid pattern going throughout the entire galley so uh, I'm really interested in seeing a completed piece and see how it looks when it's all done um, so I actually made a mold of this side early on in its development before I learned that I had to make this inset let me show you that mold real quick because it turned out really nice hold on just a second let me grab it here here we go. This is a silicone mold of that piece, of this piece, minus the inset. But as you can see, the mold is a one part. Uh, it's just a reversal in the mold of, of what I have, the original. And uh, you can see that it, the mold came out really nice. No air bubbles in there. Um, nothing caught. No thin edges. The the mold itself is a little thin. That's because I ran out, but I just had enough to clear it. So I can probably make a few casts out of this, and I'll have to pitch it and get another one, make another one for it. But let me show you the plastic casting that came out of it real quick. This is really cool because it came out perfect. And if you look at this, there's no air bubbles at all. It's hard to tell in this video, but uh, it came out really nice, and I was very happy with it. So, and plus I had full control over where the air bubbles were located. And when you pour this, you see, since the uh, casting material is clear, you can see throughout this entire thing while it's before it cures where any air bubbles might be hiding. And you can just take a pin or a, a, a little wire or maybe a toothpick and just go in there and knock them out. And then when it cures, you don't have to worry about it. So that's my dilemma right now. If I make a two-parter, I can make all the venting in the world for this. But I'm, a wor I'm worried since I can't see that I'm going to have air bubbles up here. So what I might do is do a one-sided for this side. And then do a one-sided for this side when it's finished. It has a long way to go before it's finished. And then bring them both together and do the same thing like I did here. These two pieces are glued together and then I use Fix It just to create a smooth wall going around with no seam lines. You can see it 
looks and feels like one piece, but it's actually two pieces. So that's what I'll probably do so I get the best quality control out of it. It may cost a little bit more in molding material, but you know, hey, if I can get something like this over and over again, I think it'll be worth my while. Can you imagine wasting this much plastic on a bad casting because you have a friggin' air bubble develop right here or right over here? Forget it, and I'm not going to go back and re-sculpt that either. That's just way too much, so forget that. So uh, let me move this stuff out of the way because i got one more piece I want to show you guys. This is the wall to the... Uh, sleep chamber or the hibernation chamber um, very iconic a lot of people recognize this right off the spot because it was such a unique design for this for the movie and one of the first designs you see um, this again is a hand sculpted piece the white pieces that you see there are casts from original hand sculpted pieces which I didn't want to replicate over and over again so I just made casts of each um, the rest of it has been fat, has been uh, sculpted using Abe's Fix It. Um, if you notice, it's pretty. It's 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 it feels pretty heavy. You can't tell from the picture. I know that, but uh, it's pretty thick. You know, I used a lot of Fix It on this. I made a pretty even. Try to keep it as even as possible. Um, it has its imperfections, but you know, hey, hand sculpted pieces aren't always supposed to be perfect. I don't use a 3D printer, so this is what you get when you hand sculpt. And uh, I think it really adds to the piece, actually, because it's such a fluid form. Uh, it just it just really works well with the the feel of the, even in the film the way it just looked very industrial, very organic. I think that's what they were trying to come across. So uh, this piece is going to be, like I said, molded and casted over and over, uh, make a repetition for the room. Then I'm going to take a mold or a cast of this piece and cut away the flower design and create the corridor entrance way which uses the same outside border pattern and uh, yeah, create several of those and uh, connect my corridors like from this one here to this one right here uh, entrance way not this piece itself um, so I'm off to a good start I think uh, these will be my masters and uh, I will be uh, probably be making more masters uh, other than these uh, of many other things I'm, in, I'm going to be working on the Nostromo flight deck which uh, right now I'm going to start with making seats chairs for each one of the pilots and uh, I already have a uh, plot of how the styrene and all the pieces are going to go together to create the framework of the flight deck uh, and start working on that. Other details I haven't planned that far ahead yet so I'm just you know I'm concentrating on the galley right now so you know there's gonna be more of this happening in the very near future and many more of this stuff coming so uh, again that just gives you a heads up of what I'm working on I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the blog and uh, any feedback let me know um, just email me or uh, leave me a message on Facebook or here on the blog Thanks guys, appreciate it.